This video will give you a little bit of an introduction to the graphics 2D object and uh, buffered image object. So if you think about your game, uh, you want to be able to draw things to the screen. So we need to create a buffered image, which is the standard uh, Java you know, object that's able to store graphical information in memory and then write it to the screen. Well, the graphics 2D or graphics object is able to write that image to the screen. So uh, we're going to create a couple fields in our uh, game panel class. So we're going to create a private buffered image uh, called IMG. And we're going to create a private graphics 2D object called G2 for the sake of clarity. Uh, and uh, we need to import both of those classes. So they're just standard parts of the Java uh, library that you can make use of. And now we're going to, in our game panel class, uh, or in our game panel constructor, we're going we're gonna to initialize our fields. So IMG should equal a new buffered image of, uh, with um, game window. We want it to, the first parameter that you give it is game window, the width of the object or the image that you want, and then we're going to give it a height, so game window dot height, and this is where we're putting those constants to use, and then we need to specify a type, and uh, we're just going to use a standard type, buffered image dot type int RGB, so um, this is a type of buffered image that stores data in an integer red, green, blue format. Okay, so it's like a standard way of storing image data uh, with three color values, red, green, and blue. Um, then we're going to, the next part, uh, you almost always create a buffered image in association with a uh, graphics tool. And this is this graphics 2D is the updated graphics tool. Graphics down below is uh, an older version of the graphics tool, to my, um, that's my understanding anyway. So this gives us additional functionality, the 2D library, and we want to associate, so what is a graphics tool or a graphics object? You can kind of envision it like a little robot that is hyper fast at uh, doing drawing, but is a total idiot at first. You have to specify all the parameters. So imagine it's just like a, like a little robot that's able to draw very quickly sitting at a stool but it doesn't have any idea where you want to where you want it to draw so the first thing you need to do is to tell it okay you need to draw over here uh, you need to get this graphical context this is your graphical context this is your the area where you draw here's the thing on which I want you to paint and so that's what this line of code is going to do so we need to say g2 equals IMG dot get graphics now, um, it's going to be upset with us just for a second, and I'm going to let it be that way. Um, so what this does is it returns the graphical context or where this image is. So it associates the graphics artist with our image. Um, the problem is get graphics returns an object of type graphics, not graphics 2D. So we have to cast this into the newer form, which looks a little weird at first. But that's all we're doing. Uh, we're just saying, like, okay, take this graphical context and put it in the newer version of our, uh, uh, so that the newer version of our tool can understand it. Um, okay, so that's how you create an image and then associate an artist with it. Uh, let's actually, <clears throat> excuse me, do a couple things so that we can see this. Uh, so let's draw something. And then, uh, so we're gonna say g2.setColor, color.white, and g2 dot um, fill or yeah fill rect g2 excuse me g2 dot fill rectangle uh, we're gonna just fill the background with white um, game window dot width and game window dot height so we're just painting our image with white then let's set g2 dot set color to something else color dot black so that you can see it and g2 dot fill oval we'll just do 20 20 20 and you know 30 so you can see it's doing something um okay so draw now g2 is we're just giving g2 a series of commands so when this command we're going to eventually call draw we'll call it here um 
So we're going to call draw. And then, so when, when draw is called, G2 is told, okay, set your color to white. So dip your paint and dip your paintbrush in the white bucket. And then I want you to draw a rectangle or fill a rectangle of this size uh, in the buffered image, just in memory, not on the screen right now. Okay, all, it, all G2 knows how to do is to put this stuff in the computer's memory. Then I want you to set it to black and draw and fill an oval in. And finally, I want this G, G object here to take that image and hang it on our panel. So G dot draw image IMG zero zero null for the observer. So I don't quite understand what the observer is, uh, but I, th I think it has to do with uh, with like being able to offset images. I'm not totally positive about that. Anyway, this is just standard. So zero zero null. So this says draw the image at zero and zero, so the top left coordinate of our panel, so it start at the very top left corner, and null is just what you have to write there, and I'm frankly not quite sure why. Um, all right, but this isn't being hung anywhere yet, so we don't have it showing up on the screen yet, so if we run this, um, the game window is gonna pop up, but you're not gonna see anything because we haven't put the panel on the window yet. Uh, we haven't created the new one and put it on the panel, so we got to do that now in our game window class. So uh, right here underneath the game shell, we're going to create a new game panel object that we just, you know, we just created that class. So we're going to call this the panel equals new game panel. We have to make a call to the constructor, and then we're going to once we add this, we're going to add it to the window. So the window dot add, and this is part of just the thing you have to learn how to do the panel. Um, there's no way that you would be able to figure this out without having been shown it. So swing components can be added in this fashion to various parts of swing. So you can add things to panels, you can add things to windows. Um, it's just kind of a standard operation. Now after it's added, we want the panel. Uh, to I think that play game is the one we uh, we um, did was the draw. So now finally you will see the background is white instead of that light gray, and there's something being drawn to our game shell. So we are very close to being uh, able to uh, create an animation and actually run a game.